everyone, this is Kimberly. You're at Kimberly M. Honeybee's False Tube. I have to be honest with you today, I am stumbling all over my words and this is the third time I'm trying to make this video. So, I would first like to say thank you to Kathleen from Situation Normal. She gave me a shout out a few weeks ago, and I know a lot of you found me through her video. I want to say thank you for coming and subscribing. I really appreciate that. And if you haven't seen her videos, I will link her below because she's giggly and adorable and she shows her stitching. She shows, shows stitching from her mom and from her sister and from her brother and sister-in-law. She's got a great channel, and I hope you'll check it out if you haven't seen it. The next thing I want to show you is my Onward Noble Steed from Lindy Stitches, Stephanie Webb. We were, there was a problem with the crocodile alligator, which I'm sure you've all heard about, so we tried to change the alligator into a dinosaur or a dragon so I tried to change mine as much as I could change the tail up give him a little hook on his under his oops under his mouth give him some give him a little flame or something up top but I think he's adorable and I just need to frame him my cat is going to start meowing at the door because he doesn't like to be outside if I'm in here. And he's very loud, so I'm sure you're going to hear him. Um, my haul, I got these two uh, flosses. They are Little Sprout and Sweet Potato, and they're looking pretty true to color. I love these colors. I like the names and I love the colors. I got them from that corner shop. The next thing that I got in my haul was my color in cotton. It's called Pearwood. It's my monthly fabric that comes from them. That's pretty true to color. I love this color. It's beautiful. Browns are my favorite. I got this little Lizzie Kate Sisters Forever or Sisters of Forever friend. I want to stitch this for my sister. And luckily it will be much brighter than this photo. The next thing I got was Trick or Treat by Stitching with the Housewives. I love the witch in this and the candy corn. I should have took it out of its baggie. But I think she's really cute with her little gingham dress. And this one I want to stitch for my daughter. I think she will love that cat. She loves all kinds of vintage Halloween. And this is also stitching with the housewives. This one is by the Blue Flower. It's Huckleberry Farm. I really like this. I love the bear and the butterfly and the house and I want to stitch this soon and I'm even thinking about waiting until December and making this my birthday start. That'll be a long time to wait but we'll see. I got my Prime Stitch Club from Fat Quarter Shop. I'm still waiting for my fabric and my floss pack to come. And I think that number two should be shipping any time if it hasn't already started shipping. I'm gonna sh going to stitch it into one piece of fabric all together. And I'm going to hopefully stay caught up on this even though I haven't started yet and I have to play catch up. And then I also got the World Cross Stitch Day Sal. Let me get my paper and see it better. This is also from Fat Quarter Shop. And I think it's really cute. And I'm going to try to stitch this on 
oil cross stitch day. Hopefully get it done, but we'll see. The next thing that I want to do, have you seen Michelle Bindi's um, junk journal cross stitch journal? If you haven't, I'm going to link it below. I was going to make signatures because I have a lot of art paper, but I was at Walmart the other day and I found this sketchbook. It has 80 pages in it and I'm thinking about taking 20 or 30 out and just using them in another way so that I, then I would have this much extra space in the journal to make room for fabric. And um, it's size is 8.5 by 11. I believe they have a smaller one, but I wanted a slightly bigger one to put bigger stitches with leaving um, space in case I decide that I want to frame it or make it into a pillow later. And I got it at Walmart if I forgot to say that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I feel like I'm still stumbling all over my words. And I also got a package of buttons. I want to start collecting some things for finishing. And this was a package of green buttons. It's so green that it makes the package look like it's green, but it's clear. <laughs> the other thing that I wanted to ask before I forget is, does anyone know where I can get um, Dear Daughter by Blackbird Designs? I really want to stitch that for my daughter. Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I just sentimental want to stitch it for her. If anyone knows where I can get it, you let me know. I'm going to add my email below today, and I would appreciate that. I would also like to show you that I got some happy mail. This one's from my cousin. This is a diamond painting, and it's giraffes, and I love giraffes. And this took many hours to make. It's pretty big. I don't know the size, but it's nice. And I love it. And it hangs right over here below these other two photos. But, yep, there's my shadow in there, or my reflection. <laughs> okay, I have one more thing to show you. And that is my, the fabric that I dyed. So, let me see here. I am going to fold this in half because it's kind of big. Or I'll just hold it up and hopefully you can see it. Anyway, this one is tan and it has great modeling on it. I love this piece. And I made it the whole entire size so it doubles up to double that size. This one was evening blue. And again, I love the marbling on it and the color is wonderful. I used the spoon method. Where you scrunch it up in a like shoebox. I used a plastic shoebox and um, scrunched it up and then just spooned the dye over it into different places. And if I was doing a solid color like the aqua that I'll show you right now, so these are showing pretty true to color, so I'm happy about that. But if you scrunch them up and then spoon them over and then let that color kind of set in and then put your last remaining color, kind of pour it over from your measuring cup, then you'll get that lighter color and the darker color and the darker modeling. This one was soft pink, I believe is the dye color. It's more like cherry pink in my opinion, in soft pink, but it's very pretty. Let's see if it shows better this way. Yeah. This one, 
I tried to mix the colors and it is tan with black. It's actually my favorite. I love this one. I think you can see it better this way with a little something in the back. And again, it was spooned with the tan first and then little, just little spots with the black dye. This one is, what is the color of this? Rose quartz, I believe. It's kind of a salmon color. So they all came out with great modeling. I like a lot of modeling in darker colors. I'll try to make it a little darker so you can see. And then this one, I wish that there was a little less orange, but this one is gray and tangerine. And I like it, but I do wish there was less orange. It's pretty though. This one is, um, I think it's called Graceful Gray, the, the gray color that they have. And I like it a lot too. I like them all. <laughs> and this is my last one. This one was uh, denim blue, and then I spooned the tan over it. So it's blue and tan. So I hope you enjoyed my dyed fabrics. As far as plans go, I am going to paint. You can hardly see her. I tried to move my camera a little bit. This little wooden, little wooden thing I bought her on Etsy years ago, like maybe even 12 years ago, and it was called a Lady Ot, and it has a butterfly and deer and a ballerina that you can probably see right here on the side. Um, I think these are scissors up here. There's all kinds of things cut out in her, and she's really pretty. I'm gonna paint her like Tiffany blue. I have a box to paint that I'm finishing up for a birthday present. And what else do I have here? Paint my girl and paint my box. So I think that's about it for today. I hope that you all have a good week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye bye.